Welcome everyone to the social van Feeling Kyle sick of the bullshit So here they are, Rep and C Plus Ready to turn every podcast to dust So sit down and shut the fuck up Cause when in doubt, fuck your couch Welcome everybody to the social van Yeah <laughs> Have you noticed with me going to the gym that there's more room. There is. <laughs> Usually it's like, oh, move, move over, move over, Big Daddy. Move over. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was like, God damn, what is this, your, your big ass scoot your head over here. Look at that time. I need my space. Yeah. <laughs> what up, y'all? Can you be the sexy ninja? This is Big Daddy. How you doing? Damn. So. Welcome to the Social Vent Podcast, brought to you every Saturday. And before we go right into it, we got to bring up some business. Mm-hmm. Shudder. S-H-U-D-D-E-R dot com. You use special promo code? C plus. C-P-L-U-S. You enter that special promo code right into that promo box. Inside the box. Inside, yes, inside the box because some of y'all still ask us, where do I put it? <laughs> if you have to ask where you put it. Oh, we're talking about the. Oh, we're talking about an actual promo, box. Yeah, the, okay. yeah actual box. Okay. <laughs> 30 free days on us. <laughs> uh, use that special <laughs> promo code and all that good stuff. On us. All right. Now, can we jump in? We can jump in. Right, which this one? Where do we want to go pick first? One, pick one. Ooh, I want to talk about some heat waves. There's some damn heat, y'all, that we've been getting our asses kicked lately. Uh, West Coast is burning the fuck up. We were burning the fuck up for a minute. We were. We, were <laughs> we had a fire literally like right outside our houses. Mountain Air. <laughs> so Mountain Air, folks, is where Mountain Air Kachina is on the outskirts of Flagstaff. Six miles. Three miles from our airport, they were on set, set status. Yeah, they were on set status, and it was hot. And he had ashes here, like they were hot ashes, right? Like it was snowing, like it was like just fucking snowing. It would get in my damn eyes. People's allergies were all fucked up. You, you had your allergies. My allergies up. were, oh god, you like, like it, 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 it was like him. It was literally like him talking like this. I'm like, damn, dude, what's wrong with you? I'm like, oh, this smoke, oh, damn it, this smoke. <laughs> and you had it bad. You live maybe about a mile and a half away from me. And for, for, for me, I thought sis busted him in his goddamn snot box and shit. I was like, what's well, wrong with you? Well, for me, though, like with the fire, you know how we were talking about being on set, if we're going to get on set and all this and that. My first thought, and this was my first thought. My first thought was like, all right, well, if I start packing my comic books into the car right now, and once we get into <laughs> Folks, that's what he seriously called me about. He called me, hey, do, do you think I can fill all my comments over there at your house? What? <laughs> Boy, you can get that shit back. <laughs> oh, man. And the, I remember, like, me and the wife were talking. We were just like, yes. all right, well, well if we had to do so, you know, if we had to get ready to go, we, we got to get ready to go. And Bob, I was like, about that. What about my comic books? And she's like, <laughs> He called me up. He said the same thing. And of course, you know, you, you know what I do on the phone. <laughs> and I can see that face through the phone, even though. And Big Pappy was right there, too. He was ready. <laughs> goddamn boy. He didn't talk about some motherfucking paper and shit. He better put the only paper that he got in his goddamn pocket. <laughs> it's a good use and leave that goddamn comic book alone with shit. What the hell? He, he instead of, instead of the safety of my family, instead of the safety of myself, the first thing I was like, the comic book. Oh my god, like how are we gonna protect the comic books? <laughs> I had my pack. I had I had my shit. My shit was packed, ready to go. Man, I also got my duffel bag in, in my in my truck. Don't you always have a duffel bag though? Well, I gotta change it out because you know I don't have plastic wrapped around it. It's just like my bag, it's my bag, and then I have um okay, you dryer always, sheets. You've always been like prepared. 
No matter what, as long as I've known you, you've always been prepared. I, I, my, my dad taught me that shit. You, boy, he said you always have a blanket, a gallon of water, and ch- a change of clothes. At least underwear. Get some goddamn wipes, something. But with this heat wave, I have had some extra bottles of water. Um, yeah, the, the, I, I'll see like some homeless folks, um, and I'll, I'll pull over real quick and say, "Hey, y'all thirsty?" Brother, please, do you have any water? I'll open, no, that's me. I just, I just I'm kind of, see, the kind of hard to spill. See the wolf. Sometimes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Sometimes. Don't listen Sometimes. to him. Sometimes. Because I'll be like, because he didn't help me out with the comic book, so now I'm going to say that. I was not going to help him with no goddamn <laughs> comic book either, shit. Oh, he wants, man. He wants some money to go get his damn comic books. I'm like. I was like, I'm gonna is go. Your, is your rent paid? Is your electricity paid? Is your is your cable paid? And he went, well, you know, like so you know. And so what do I do, folks? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. Um, yeah, but no, it's been extremely hot. I went down to Phoenix and stuff like that, and hearing all these people talk, global warming's not real. And it's just like, I, I don't know where you've been, but if you have not known the change in the weather and how bad it is, like you remember in Flagstaff, we knew monsoon season. We like during the summer, like even though Flagstaff is weird on weather itself, it but we knew like okay, here you know when 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 things happen happen like you, our, our summer, our spring, our mm-hmm. fall, winter, and this and that. Now it's kind of all over the place. It's with this way. He's talking about the change of weather. July 3rd, 1993, Suns and uh, Chicago Bulls, they were in game six. Suns was up. Charles Barkley was having a hell of a game. And I was like, yeah, we got this. We got this game. We're going we gonna to win. And then everyone, know, everyone know, at Softball Park was talking all that bullshit. And it was hot that day, too. And it was like, Suns, the Bulls going to win. Bulls going to win. I said, Bulls will win if it fucking snows and we'll start laughing. Ten minutes after I said that, what do we get in the middle of goddamn summer? Snow. Folks, I'm not kidding. Look this up. Google it. Flagstaff, Arizona, July 1993 snowstorm. And I'm talking about it's coming down like a blizzard. And it's not cold. And... My team said, you just had to fucking say something, huh? <laughs> you just had to fucking say something. Well, and what happens? Bulls. Bulls fucking won. But you might be redeemed because the, the Suns oh. have officially gone into the <laughs> finals. Yes. So that's I, another heat wave topic right there. Like That's yeah, a good, I, yep. The heat wave is coming. Suns are going to get it. I'm uh, telling you, Suns are going to get it. <laughs> I, uh, no, everyone has been talking about that game like, 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 oh, my God, you know, rally the valley and stuff like that. And I'm not a big Phoenix Suns fan, but I'm like, you know what? If any franchise right now deserves this, like, it, it, it's it's the Suns. It's the Suns. Amidst all that damn heat, because the folks, who, the folks who live down south of Arizona, like, here's Arizona. Okay, wait, wait. There goes Arizona right here. There's a place called the Mogollon Rim, literally where my knuckles is at. This is, this is northern Arizona. This is southern Arizona. Anything south of that Mogollon Rim, shit. Boy, you better have some water with you at all goddamn time. Man, I, I I can't like imagine playing that hard. You know what I mean? Like like Me like either. being a being an athlete oh, in that shit. weather and shit like that. I played down there as a football player for my high school when I was at the Eagles. We went down there, and I'm just like, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but but they got great winter there because their winter is basically like our summer. Yeah, it just flips. <laughs> it just, so it, anything south of the Mogollon comes up like that, just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, and they don't get snow. or They get monsoon season. They get bad rain, They though. did get snow, remember? Oh, Last yeah, year? yeah, Tucson yeah. Tucson got snow. They and everybody that. was like, what, what? what is this? You know, what, what's going on here? <laughs> so all the folks in California, Washington, Oregon, uh, please be careful. We know it's kicking y'all asses. I know in... Boy, Portland, 115. Shit. You please be careful. Please, please, please be careful. And to that. The people who are going hiking, 
in this weather, you need to be a little bit much, a little bit more smart about it because I'm sick and tired of going on the news, God damn it. And I go see the news and I see, we found another hiker. We had to bring him down the mountain because they had no water. They really weren't prepared to go take this hike. And I'm just like, <laughs> it, it is like, we went to go hike up the mountain. Whoa. It was 115 degrees. I know, but it was awesome. Did you guys bring a lot of water? Well, we, we brought a bottle. We brought a bottle. <laughs> He's gonna go grab some, but I'm just like, oh my god, why? If you're gonna go do that in the weather, please take some water, good, a lot of water with you. If you're gonna do these hikes, like, oh my gosh, like right here, that's a good, perfect Folks, idea. This is not hard, seriously. This is not fucking hard. See this? It's a fanny pack, water bottle. Okay, fellas, you know how you know how we do. Shit. I carry this some bitch just just like this. Yeah, we we went hiking. Uh, yeah, I had yeah I had this bad boy with me. You had it around your waist though. Mm-hmm. Because I was happy because Big Daddy's waist has shrunk. I mean shrunk. And K and B's oh. waist is shrinking too. Stand up, Sean. Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I gotta get up. I gotta get up. Get up. Ah. Look, oh. look, folks. So, uh, yeah, so this one. There you go. Before, I'm not kidding. It's like. See how it is, but a little bit further. Thank you for showing off my. You do. You're doing good. You're doing good, bro. You're doing uh, good. Shit. But, but seriously, folks, it, it just drives right. me crazy because I'm just like, like we brought another hiker down, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah, California. You hear that right now? People on the goddamn trails. They're coming down. Uh, Oregon, Washington, especially even here in Flagstaff, we got people going up to the goddamn peaks. And who is it all all the damn time? Tourists. <laughs> oh no, it's Flagstaff. You have to worry about it, folks. This heat up here can be knows. It's different. Okay, we're at we're at seven thousand feet. We're close to the sun. We are close to the sun. It's the UV rays. These UV rays. The, the UV rays will bake your ass. I'm sorry. I got a tan right now. I yeah. I still have to wear. He he still has to wear sunscreen. Seriously, it's no it's no damn joke. Don't be stupid. Don't be you no know, like Carlos Messias said. Da, da, da. Don't be that. God, I haven't heard about that dude. That's so <laughs> Don't be that. Don't be. Da, da, da. Well, this just goes into our next subject. Like, can I pick it real quick? Go this, for it. Let's talk right, about. This, it. Let's this, talk. Speak on the shit. This, this goes into right into this because when I told you when I went down to Phoenix, <laughs> you. like the one thing that you get tired of is when people's like, it's hot. It's too hot. It's hot. Then you're like, well, keep saying it. It ain't going to change. <laughs> <laughs> so I went down there with the mentality of like, it's hot. I accepted it. You know, and, and you were cool. I, I was cool, man. Except, except, I will say, except when I went into the car. After getting in the car. Oh, yeah. Like, like I was fine. I was like, oh, this is like dry heat weather. I'm like, fine. I got a little bit of, I got a little brown, golden, you know, nothing wrong with that, you baby. Did. Yeah, and um, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like I actually enjoyed the weather, and but I'm telling you, when the car sits there for the day, and then I have to go down to the gas station, and I open the car, I'm like, I sit in the car, I'm like, damn, and you know, you're trying to like, <laughs> everything's hot in the car or whatnot. I, I, that's the one thing I didn't like, but everything else is great. Uh, we actually got to get in the swimming pool because they have mm -hmm. a little swimming pool down there. That was fun. Yeah. I forgot how much I love swimming, you know, with this pandemic and shit like that. It felt good. Yeah. It felt good. For those who want to know what he's talking about, what it's like to step into a hot ass car. Like if you live like in a very hot environment, I had it all figured out in my head. I, I was like, you were going somewhere with that. Yeah. You know how you put something really hot in your mouth? From fresh from the microwave, yeah. When you get into the damn car, like like down the fence, you can have one of those sunblock things on your on the goddamn windshield. When you put that hot ass food in your mouth, that's how it's like breathing the air down the Phoenix. If you have if your car's been sitting there for a while, oh, 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 oh. Remember, remember, <gasps> yeah, yeah, you got you trying to get all the windows down, you're, you're trying to crank that AC oh, up. Shit. Oh shit! Sorry, I was a little right. You're, you're behind, you got the AC going. It's not even getting. Not even cooling up enough. Yeah, but it's crazy though driving up and seeing that little uh, going from the third, the three digits to uh, back to the double digits mm -hmm. and going down. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. You know, 
I was like, but but I I put it like getting past your bullshit. This this goes into effect of people like I talk to who are like, oh, I'm want to be vegan. I'm like, well, be vegan. No, oh, I want to write a book. Well, write a book. Oh, I want to make a podcast. Make a podcast. They're like, it's too hard. I'm like, well, getting past that yes. bullshit in yes, your mind is. is what's keeping you from doing your thing. Exactly. And it's just like <laughs> exactly. me accepting the fucking heat. Yes, it's hot. And like <laughs> and like Big Daddy says. Keep saying it, and ain't gonna change the not weather. Not gonna change shit. Nothing. Uh, I'm <laughs> sorry, it's not gonna change. It's, it's, just, it's just not. You can sit there complaining about, about the shit all you want to, and or you hate the wind, or you hate asparagus. It's not going nowhere. I hate the last Jedi. But I still bring that shit up. <laughs> it's not going I can't. nowhere. And that ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. They're, well, they're, they're still making money off of that shit. Uh, what's funny about it is, like, I, um, my 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 brother bought me Godzilla versus Kong, mm-hmm. and he's like, I was like, why do I want this? And he goes, oh, you know, for your collection, you know, because he got. I was like, I don't. I, I that's the one movie I don't want in my collection. And then I looked in the back, and there's one What'd thing that see? intrigued me. The movie commentary by the director. And I was just like, you know what? I want to listen to it. Because you know me. I'm a big We're movie. suckers. We're suckers for movie commentary. I, I'm we a, really are. I'm a, we really uh, are. I, I, I look in the back. I was like, this has movie commentary. He goes, oh, no. You love your movie commentary. I was like, I, I want to understand where he was going with this movie. So I am going to rewatch Godzilla versus Kong. I wanted to do a podcast about it too, but I was going to watch it with the commentary. Then I was just going to watch the movie itself. It, like I said, if I can enjoy Fast 9 to that degree of like of how stupid that movie is, you know, I think I can go back and try to rewatch movies I don't like. Not The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi is not getting no pass from me. But like go back and watch Aquaman, the first Aquaman movie. Go back and watch um, uh, Godzilla versus Kong, you know. And like sit there and like understand what they were trying to do. What they were trying to do. Right. But that that's the extent of it. So I was gonna do that for Godzilla versus Kong. I'm gonna try to do that with Fast Nine because I'm trying to get past my bullshit with that movie just being just <laughs> utterly beyond a shell of a fucking doubt. Ridiculous. Re- beyond ridiculous. It's beyond fucking ridiculous. I mean, I, I saw where they were going with it, but I you can tell if you guys if for those people who have saw it. Excuse me, for y'all who watched it, it, it is just it, it's ridiculous, right? But you can tell. I don't know. I could tell that they edited some shit out. They they did. They edited a lot out. I don't I think mean, so. Because think that they, movie was sitting at two hours and twenty minutes. Like if they edited some stuff, I think out, it was longer. And guess what? I was wrong. That this isn't the longest Fast Nine. I mean, Fast Nine is not the longest in the franchise. Which one is? Um, the last two were. We're a little bit over that twenty minute mark for the two hours. Oh, but there was I I enjoyed the hell out them motherfuckers. I was sitting there. <laughs> His ass. No, was it set was it eight, seven or eight? Paul Walker's final appearance. Seven. Seven. He trying to hide it. He I didn't hide it. I because he no longer the say only something. time I ever hid him myself crying from you <laughs> was in Rogue One. That was the only time I tried to hide it because I was like, it is beautiful. And you just like, just that look like, are you fucking crying right now? <laughs> and I, but I didn't mean this. I, folks, I kind of said it loud. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of said it loud. And people were saying, people were like, <laughs> started giggling. You, I, what, I did what? <laughs> I was like, you fucking crying? <laughs> and you hear the audience, <laughs> like, trying not to laugh. <laughs> Uh, the, mouth, yeah, you can't go to the movies with me because I'll the, be like the best is <laughs> like I, I would say the best crying moment. I think I told the story before is I took Kathy to go see Toy Story four, and I won't lie, I was crying in that movie. I was I cried at the end. I was just like damn, and I was like trying to hide it why not because there's some other parents in there, and it was like one butch looking dad like you know I'm a badass, <laughs> and I was just like I'm sitting in my cab all, and all of a sudden like I just feel little hands on my face, and I'm like. What are you doing, Kathy? Are you crying? <laughs> I was like, shut up. <laughs> I was just like, Woody, you know, he's he's going on his own. What does this have to do again, past your bullshit? <laughs> going and enjoying the movie. Enjoying yourself. 
fuck everybody else, just getting past the bullshit that it's going to either be a tearjerker, you're not going to like it, you're going to love the hell out of it, or you can't control the weather. Get it. Yeah. It's been a long time since I dropped the solo rhyme But I've been working on my lines and I've been staying on my grind Had to start operation for it even do mine Had to make sure we were fine, man, there ain't no time To stop all cry, I wrote this without a try I tell the truth, no lie to all my haters, you can die Man, y'all a bunch of flies, I'll stab you in your eyes With a couple zip ties, I don't even need my knife Cause y'all are weaker than this guy The one you always hate and why, for being me, that's why You wish I I die, well, I don't need you so bye bye I'll keep you hating on my mind To so stay away while I do mine I've been improving like it's my time To murder a couple rhymes And drop a couple times To all my homies in their prime No, we ain't commit a crime Yeah, we doing just fine Man, this track is all mine And it's short, but that's fine Long as I kill it and take my time To come up with random rhymes But it was easy for me, you guys You know I kill it every time So I'll be back in no time Hope you all doing fine Yeah this when you know so here's the story i seen this the other day and i was like what the hell is this controversy you know howard mackie and some con in controversy controversial captain america comment so they asked him they asked him about well actually i seen it on uh on instagram david banner david, david banner you uh you're talking about about the whole thing about you know captain america bucky and then they showed a small video about someone uh, another podcaster who went on who went on all this saying that you know why is it that they ask people of color this shit but then they, they don't ask you know about then they ask Chris Hemsworth about his about the Thor character being being if he was gay or not or Loki's which kind of find out he's had little tris both sides he don't give a shit that's, uh, that's, that was his uh, gender um, fluid or something like that on his paperwork. Fluid, yeah. Yeah, like fluid. fluid some, like, some like, shit. He could be whatever, you know. Yeah, he could be whatever. And the come there, no, the, the, the podcast was just basically saying, Why do you do this to people of color? Not just black folks, not just masks, everybody, all people of color. Media always starts in with that bullshit. Howard Mackey just said flat out, Does it matter? And why are you bringing this up in the first damn place? Because, it, you know, I understand, gay folks, I understand, you want representation too. But not every story has to be about you. It doesn't have to be about us either, him. It's just, it's, it's never been story. about us. Well, yeah, you're bringing me in the picture. Yeah, that, that's, that's, <laughs> uh, one day, one day, one day. <laughs> oh, no, they're bringing Firebrand. Uh, Firebrand to, uh, uh, to the Marvel Universe. Now, I want to see, like, Smoke Signals too, like... <laughs> Me too. That's Smoke signals and shit like that. But then they, they'll probably start in on that. Well, we recasted well, the black people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We 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 recasted the black people. We moved it to LA. <laughs> like it's a... Hell no. We moved, we, we moved that shit to Las Vegas. In Las Vegas and smoke signals doesn't mean smoke signals. It means weed references, you know. But smoke signals too coming to a theater near you. <laughs> yes, one of them's name is Victor. <laughs> hey, Victor. <laughs> that shit was that was a good movie, and I remember even back then they were trying to make them a reference as, as them being gay. But it's like, you guys, come on. It, well, it's, it's not always that way. It doesn't have to be that way. We're we're learning. We're learning. It's shit. Well, you, you better know, learn too. <laughs> it, it, it's funny to me this weird. I don't know. I, I kind of, when you brought this up, it kind of brought up like a thing in my head. I was talking to a coworker the other day. And we're talking about the Loki series, mm -hmm. and I, they're like, "Oh, you watching Loki?" I was like, "Of course, you know this like them. This is my shit." And they're like, "Oh yeah, Loki, oh, so hot." I was like, "Hell, have you watched the show?" No. But, oh, it's so hot. It was always a reference to like, "Oh, it's so hot," you know. Oh God, you know. I I was just like, so you, 
it's it's so based. I know where this is going. Yeah, so based <laughs> in like sexuality is such a thing with these you know these characters because don't get me wrong, they get handsome, beautiful people to play these characters. It's very true. Um, and then like like the whole you know like gay thing, you know that it gets brought up and they're like, oh well, but because Mara Steve and and Bucky were hinted and Batman and Robin were hint, you know, it was just like. Does it fucking matter because they they're not I don't know it's just one of those things that drives me nuts in comic books itself you know especially like when they're like okay this character's gay now you're like oh well why they're like oh because we have to have representation in the best form possible well you couldn't just make a new character yeah to, we talked about yeah. this you couldn't make a new fucking character you couldn't do but I mean to come out of left field. Like with, uh, let's take the X-Men, for instance, okay? They did it with Colossus. That came out of no fucking where. Oh, yeah. North, yeah, Colossus and... and we and did North have Star. this conversation before. Yeah. Right? And then they did it with Iceman. I was like, wait a minute. But I, he is far from... Oh, wait, who who, um, who did we... What was it called? Uh, hold on. Um, who did we... Uh, when both of us like did a head turn, it was because uh, Pride Month is over. Was last month, mm -hmm. and DC put out their Pride book, which I got, and uh, Marvel put out their Pride book, which I didn't get because those are characters I didn't care for, except for one because I was scratching my head. I was like, Dakin, Wolverine's kid. Yeah, like, well, remember I was like, wait, when did he? You know, and he doesn't go by Dakin anymore. He goes by something else. I can't. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it real quick. But yeah, the point, folks, is that. Again, we all want representation, but to turn around and try to ask, I mean, they pretty much, they corner, they, they tried to corner Anthony Mackey with that question. And he pretty much told him, look, you go to hell. Okay. It's not that I'm not against it, but these two characters are far from it. And, oh, oh yeah, a yeah. lot of gay community people just cancel Howard Mackey. I mean, Anthony oh, Mackey, yeah, Mackey. Cancel yeah, Anthony yeah, yeah, Mackey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. You guys, shit. Oh yeah, he's going by his actual name, Akihiro. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what he's going by. He's really not going by Dakin as much. But yeah, that was just something out of left field. I was like, wait, what? Whoa! And I remember calling you. I was like, when was Dakin gay? You know, like. <laughs> and when I mean fuck you guys, I mean seriously, fuck you guys. Okay, because we don't get we don't get what we want all the time. You're not going to get it either. Fight for it. If y'all want to see all that stuff, hey, that's fine. I have gay family. I love them to death. That, but that's 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 how. Well, kind you, know, of, you know, that kind of sounds like like white folks saying, "Well, I'm not racist because I, I have black friends." I know. I was like, I was gonna say something, but I was like, you know, what? I'm I'll say it. That, that's I, I just I see where that I see where that went. But at the same time, folks, I already canceled myself earlier in the show. I, so, I, I know. guess I just canceled myself too. <laughs> I, just can't, I just canceled my goddamn self too. So, <laughs> so you know what, can my I, folks, you know, guys, hashtag, hashtag cancel Big Daddy. Hashtag canceled KMB. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what though? Sometimes the goddamn truth fucking hurts. Well, it's I don't know. I when when this whole thing came up and it, like when people attack people, you know, it's like um was it, like Cara that Cara, Cara Dune, like because uh she's for Trump and she put out some fucked up tweet or something like that, and then mm -hmm. automatically bam, Disney's like out, you know, this and that. Oh, yeah. um you know, I forgot. I forgot her goddamn name. Yeah, now. but Gina took, Carano. Yeah, they took her character away. Boop, gone. And it's just like you know what? I looked at that situation. I'm like, yeah, it's fucked up what she said. But doesn't this kind of go against like the idea of freedom of speech that everyone keeps bitching about? <laughs> not in a corporation. It, it, exactly. I know. Not not in a corporation, but with uh, the cancel culture. If you you know, if you want to go with those yeah. terms. And how when people say something, oh my god, cancel, ah, cancel, cancel, cancel. And it's just like, but I can still have my freedom of speech or whatever I want to say. And I'm like, the hypocrisy, yes. yeah. And I'm like, that's what I can't fucking stand. Yeah, and I'm like, I, I'm like, okay, well, and we just talked about this. There's shit we said on this podcast before. Where we're like, God damn. You know, like woo. our early, early <laughs> podcast, boy. If you guys ever want to hear some shit that will probably years down the road. Cancel, cancel, <laughs> cancel them, cancel them. We're, oh we're, yeah, we're gonna get a James Gunn, and like we're gonna be working on something, and someone's like, "Hey guys, you're trending." I'm like, "Oh, 
no. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I I, I'm looking forward to it too because I, I, I like you know like it's like uh, here here I don't want to I don't want to you know I know we're talking about Bucky and Cat but I don't want to kill I don't, I don't want to beat this dead horse no more. It's like the stupid fucking review I did on um, Tom McDonald. You know, it, it, like if that was you, actually pretty good. <laughs> the people who come at me about it are like, oh, you, you like everything. You just like him. I was like, I don't like him. And they're like, oh. I'm like, but that's my opinion. Do you have an opinion? I love him. Good. Good. You know, hold your hand. Good little boy. You, you handled know. that nicely. Yeah, good. Like, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you have an opinion. I respect your opinion, and that's it. Yeah, that's the way it should be. Like, if I have an opinion, not when it comes to racism. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to give that free card to racism. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if you have an opinion of something like, oh man, well, I don't like that movie. Well, I love that movie. Okay, cool. That exactly. Exactly. Gay people. Gay people understand. You want. You want to see more representation. Create your own. It's just the same as Michelle Rodriguez when she said uh, black folks leave white folks characters, superheroes alone, create your own dynasties, create your own characters. That way they can't say nothing. And what did y'all try to do to her? Y'all tried to cancel her. So what did she do? She goes, well, that's not exactly what I was saying. I was like, oh, you fucker. I hate I, I, I hate when the apology happens. Me too. It, it drives me crazy. It only, sounds I'm fake. Like, it does sound like, well, well, that's not what I was trying to say, you know. And like, um, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Like, no, 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 fuck them, <laughs> fuck them. Say what you need to say, fuck them. Because, you know? because no matter what, people are gonna get pissed off with what you said anyway, or may not say. So you might as well go ahead and fucking say it. And if that means that you guys cancel us after this because of the bucking cap comments, I'm sorry. Well, it, it, <laughs> just, it's unnecessary bullshit inside of bullshit on top of bullshit. Like, with some whipped cream. With some whipped cream. And, you know, <laughs> it's like, uh, okay, here's some good representation. When they made Harley uh, and uh, Poison Ivy a thing thing in the cartoon show, mm -hmm. I didn't care. Because the story built up to it, and it was beautiful. The story built up to them. Coming together and driving off in the car like Thelma and Louise, and I was I was like, oh man, that is a great. That was a great story. Storytelling at its finest, not just being like, okay, well, to force something. Yeah, this okay. Uh, well, uh, by the way, Superman's black. Oh, okay. Well, he is Kal El. Okay. Well, uh, why, why are we doing that? Um, well, because we need representation. Well, you know, there is other characters that. We can do and represent, you know, you know. Well, they got that Black Panther movie, so we need our own. We make Superman black. Okay, well, we do have this Superman over here. He is black, but he's not Kal El. <laughs> no, 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 fuck that. I want to use Kal El. Well, we, you know, this is, but then you got the people on the other side are like, my my, my Superman what? My, my my Superman what? He's an alien. I love that when they say we've said that several times before too. My Superman is white. No, actually, he's an alien. <laughs> he's actually an alien. <laughs> you want to know about the wrong representation? Jason Momoa as Aquaman. I put in that out there because, let me tell you, that right there was a good representation. Even though Jason Momoa is awesome, he, he looks – you know how they get an actor that looks like the character? Mm -hmm. Jason Momoa does not look like Aquaman because, sadly – Aquaman has been betrayed as white for so long. I understand they try to do something different yep. with that, you know, that Samoan uh, character, like, oh, he comes from the sea and whatnot. And I, I was just like, that's that's cool. You know, I understand you're trying to put your own flavor on it, but with a character that is uh, that well established, you couldn't just make a new character to, you know, introduce Jason Momoa. But, you know, I, I might change my mind after I rewatch Aquaman. I'm like, yeah, hey, Jason Momoa, put your dick in my mouth. I love you as Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> that was, at first, I was the same way because I was like, Jason Momoa, okay. So I see what they're trying to go for. Just I, we understand, just like I understand with the Bucky Cat thing. I, I get it. But at the same time, there's a time and place for everything. Create a new character. They could have used the Aquaman from the Smallville series, which oh, Smallville is coming back. Heard it here first. Well, not really. Not, no, <laughs> not knowing that. Really. Uh, Canceled. 
<laughs> Can, yeah, canceled. This canceled. <laughs> All right, guys, shout out the lights. No, <laughs> no more. We're done. So, what's our point, folks? Be cool. Just chill. Let the story flow. Don't force shit. Okay. And Batman does eat pussy. No. D new DC. New 52 Catwoman issue number one. The last four pages. Right. That's right. <sighs> Loki, the story so far. You watched the, yeah, yesterday's episode. Yes, right? I did. And I'll say so far, I've seen other reviews of it. Everyone can say, this is boring. This is slow. It's only <laughs> six episodes. And like I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where we're going. It's like, I like it. Mm -hmm. Like, don't get me wrong, I like the Loki, but and I love uh Captain America and the Winter Soldier. You, that, that magic of WandaVision, you know, uh, is, that was a beautiful story, is not being recaptured the way WandaVision was because WandaVision, we were like, it just grabbed you and was like, you're gonna love this, and you we're like, we fucking yeah. love this, and we're like, where are we going, and you know. Captain and Winter Soldier was a slow build. When we finally got the payoff of seeing Sam in a suit, then we we're like, yeah. But it was a slow build, you know, kind of mm -hmm. a weak villain with what's her face, you know, we rule the world because I'm a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, when we finally got Captain America, what it represented as, you know, well, oh, that's black Captain America. That ain't black Captain America. That's Captain America. That's you know? Captain America. It's not Black Falcon either. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but that Fuckers. that that paid off everything, and this show is kind of like that too. Because I'm like, what's the end game on this? Like, because at the end of this episode, spoilers, Loki is dead again. Is dead again, and we uh, killed Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson off after <laughs> after all the secrets started to get revealed, and. Next episode, no female Loki. She pretty much uh, Sil Silva, Silva, Sylvia, Silva, Silva. Let me so, make, let me make sure make before sure. we get canceled again. Yeah, we want to get canceled. We've already been can we canceled ourselves. Like, oh, how many goddamn times already on this episode? So <laughs> <laughs> we are so canceled. It is not funny anymore. Okay, can you see that we don't give a fuck if you cancel us or not? Because I will find another oh, platform to talk shit on. Sylvie, Sylvie. So Sylvie, hats off to Sylvie because she did this. She did this whole the actress did it after she just had a baby and they designed the costume around her so she can breastfeed and everything quick. Yeah, I read about that today. That was very cool. So uh where are we going with this? I, I got the name out there that I was like, <laughs> oh the, what, <laughs> killing a Mobius off. Yes, oh, Wilson's character. I was kind of like. They oh. just, yeah, they just found out everyone's a variant. Yeah, that's so fucked up. Everyone is a variant. <laughs> and it kind of it kind of ties in with the original what if Marvel story um of the time time variant authority. Uh the wrote the, the, this in, in this in the Do you think episodes, the watchers gonna come in? You I think here's my guess. I, I'm I was either thinking the watchers, Immortus, Kang. Or some offshoot of Kang, who he, who he originally was. Yeah. Some someone big, someone big is gonna is gonna come in. I I have a feeling. I was thinking for some reason Immortus. Well, um, Kang the Conqueror is coming, and Kang is gonna show up in Ant Man. Ant Man, okay. So and uh, what was it called? What was that one called? Ant Man and Ant Man and the Wasp in the Omniverse. We're gonna <laughs> check it for you real quick, folks. And plus two. It's it's okay, you no. Know, if you guys want to, you know, yes, we are giving away spoilers on this one. But you know what, though, there's so much juiciness coming out from from the Marvel universe and story wise. Line. Quantumania. What's it called? Ant Man and the Wasp and Quantumania. So we're going. In oh, that's a cool fucking logo. Yeah. So that's that's on the way. Who would have thought Ant Man? <laughs> I was just talking to somebody about this. I was just like, "There's an Ant Man movie out there." <laughs> like, <laughs> And they did a good job. I like I I love how they did it. And I see I, I see where Loki is gonna tie in to Ant-Man and where Ant-Man is gonna tie into uh the greater Marvel universe after this after these episodes because I mean there's a, there's gonna be some shit. L the Loki is gonna be in 
Well, and I saw a huge spoiler for Spider Man. Because I th- I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, I I follow this dude on uh, Twitter. His name is like Big Screen Leaks or whatever. I saw the same thing. And he yeah. showed the Lego set, and I was just like, I saw the Lego set, and I was just, like, I'm not gonna say what it is. I just saw the Lego set, and I was like, well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. If you want to follow him, it's like big screen leaks or big leaks or whatever on Twitter. Like the only reason I followed him is because he showed that picture of um Keaton as Batman mm-hmm. and the uh, Supergirl and you know Flash them on the Flash set and whatnot. And that was the only reason why I followed him. But man, whoever this ninja is, like he 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 knows some shit. He knows some people in the industry. He knows some people in the industry. Like, he actually got the trailer for Halloween Kills out there before it was supposed to be out there. And then he had to go back on Twitter like, hey, guys, hey, guys, um, don't retweet this. Uh, there are, you know, like... <laughs> it's too late. Too late. Um, yeah, so, like I said, damn it. I saw that big spoiler for you. <laughs> the big, big... I think I know what you're talking about. Just like the big rumor about, you know, now, now people are guessing about when they're talking about vampires and shit like that on this episode of Loki. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I was just like, oh. It, it was Mar- mm. See, Marvel's getting they're, – they're starting to get better at their story writing. It doesn't seem more – it doesn't seem as formula, formulatic as it used to be. I think they're taking risks now, especially with these shows. You know what I mean? Because DC's on their ass. DC is on their ass. Well, you know, we got the Batman movie that's coming. We got the Flash movie. Black Adam. Black Adam. Um, the next Shazam movie. Next Shazam movie. And folks, hey, we might have the Snyderverse. Just stay tuned. Listen to that one. We might have the full-blown Snyderverse coming in because Game B said it first. The Rock, he's behind Black Adam 100%, and he has talked to DC producers about the Snyderverse coming in because they know what Marvel is doing right now, especially with the Loki, especially with the Loki series. Loki is going to jumpstart a whole bunch of new shit. And it's going to end at the end of WandaVision. Remember they're talking about the, uh, the magic wars and winding way. Oh yeah. Loki's going to be involved in that. How do I know? Because there's a fucking spoiler and you just heard a spoiler right now. Cause God damn it. I always have to watch that shit. God, I just love you know, Disney Plus is such a good investment. It is. It <laughs> There's so is. much good it's shit in so there. Like, is. like, to, like, uh, what's today? Thursday mm-hmm. and tomorrow morning, like Christmas, the Bad Batch is laying. I got to catch up. Oh, Bad Batch got, is great. I got, I got to catch up. I got to catch up with that whole series. Uh, oh, in part three, you'll probably see it tomorrow. Well, yesterday because this will be Saturday. Yeah. But part three of me and uh, Doug's. Review of these last four episodes will be popping up tomorrow. Me and him are going to go over the last four episodes. So Good. this is part three of that because we've been doing them in increments of three. Mm-hmm. But since I was gone last weekend, we're like, okay, we'll just mix this in the four because there's 16 episodes all together. Oh, wow. I do have some catching up to do. Yeah. I've only watched it. Because episode 10 is tomorrow. I'm going to watch the first three episodes. Yeah. Like we're on episode <laughs> 10 tomorrow. God damn. So <laughs> has it been two months? Dude, I I I I I froth Whoa, at the shit, mouth. Like as soon as like I know it's Friday, mm-hmm. bam, tablet. With your eyes all. I'm, all like, mm. I'm just like, oh, the bad match. Uh, have, so you know, have you know somebody's face, folks? What about my face? Look at the camera. See how his face is squishing in. He's on. He's on. He's on his weights, boy. Look at. See, look at. Remember his- I saw a video, I saw an old <laughs> video from earlier this year, and I was like, like it was like I was just like, God damn. <laughs> like, you, your face is shrinking in. It is. It's like, I can't want to be able to call you big head boy anymore. That's a damn lie. <laughs> I'm always gonna have a big head, man. Like people are like, oh, you got a big head? I'm like, yeah, because that's the actual skull. Like then I have this weird little thing in the back. That, that- So with Loki so far, folks. Loki yes. so far, I, I'm enjoying it. I want to know where we're going. Um, with big reveals next episode. Well, we got two episodes left. Like we that that's it. Then Black Widow, and I'm hearing great things about Black Widow, and it definitely is uh, setting off Phase Four. 
So I'm just like, how though? You know what I mean? Because I, I it is confirmation that this story does take place. You want to know? Because it's not really a spoiler. Because I really I've watched the one trailer. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's not a spoiler. Okay, it takes place after Civil War. Because remember how everyone's like, oh, where does this take place? Because oh. you know, because oh, see, because I heard two different things. I heard it took place right before she went. And went undercover in Iron Man two, so oh, this no. is, so this is taking place after. This takes place when they, when when Civil War happens and they all have to go on the run. Gotcha. So she goes to Russia. Oh, so this takes place right after that. Like it's okay. not. Yeah, I was just okay. like, okay, the, so it's gonna build, do her mission here. Mm -hmm. Then I think most likely it's gonna go into Endgame. You know. And this movie's way long overdue, though. <laughs> way long overdue. Um, um, I wouldn't be surprised if Loki makes a goddamn appearance in that because he loved, loved fucking with the Black Widow. I mean, he got to her head bad in the first movie, in the first Avengers movie. He got so damn deep. But I think I think she had a little something for him. Who knows? We might see. We might see. Who Loki, knows? Loki might just become the Stan Lee. Of this, you know, it just pops up and everything. Like you're like, oh look, Loki's there. Yeah, from the way the from the way this time story is going so far, and I, I like the unique take on it that you no know, Sylvie Sylvie S woman, the female Loki, how she hides in the apocalypses that are about to happen throughout the universe. That's 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 genius storytelling. I would never have thought of that personally. And then with her. Her story coming out right now about how she Sylvie. Sylvie. Sylvie's good. Sylvie's badass. And it's it's fucked up. I I and, you know it shows why she wants revenge against the time variants. Oh man, uh, shit, the man, they just took her out of her fucking time. They took out her time <laughs> and they still but think as old folks, they still haven't explained. No, they haven't. They're like but, I bet you next episode they do. Oh, of course. We got two episodes to go. You better explain it. They, yeah, they better. Please don't leave on the cliffhanger like uh one division kind of left on a fucked up cliffhanger. It was a sad. Fucked it was up a sad fucked up cliff. Oh my cliffhanger. god! But I hope that this round. I hope so. Wait, TV show wise. So what's next? They got here's Loki. What if? What, what is next? Coming out. Um, what if it's gonna be fucking Moon Knight, Moon She Knight. Hulk, uh, the Hawkeye. 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 Yes, we get to see uh, Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop and this bad boy. Um. Yeah, they're they're cranking out these shows pretty fast, and like, I was wondering too, like, you know, remember how Solo was supposed? To, I'm gonna, I know I'm getting into Star Wars, but how Solo was supposed to get a second movie, but it bombed and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I heard a theory that brought up really, really well with the the book of Boba Fett, and how it's pretty much gonna be a one and done thing. Yeah, you know, kind of like how the Kenobi show is gonna be. It's gonna yeah. be a one and done thing. So everyone's theorizing, like, if Book of Boba Fett does really, really well. Will they get back, uh, cast a solo, mm -hmm. and do a show like that? To you know, because come on, honestly, at the end of Solo, they are setting up Darth Maul. They are setting up the next Everybody. job. On like they, 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 there was supposed to be a franchise with the Solo movie, and then it just went. Boop. Yeah, it just got it stopped. It yeah. just stopped and like no explanation, a, a pure dry hump. Yeah, it was a dry hump. Sorry, it was a dry hump. And I love Solo. <laughs> Solo was good. I love I love Solo too. They that's something that you can see expanding that they can do more and more with. But like I want to see Kira, like because now she's big crime boss lord. Like yeah, and don't do it in the book series because we we see what happens with the dad damn. Well, sadly, she did show up. I haven't read it yet, but Kira's character finally showed up in the comic books, and she showed up during this thing, this uh, comic book series called um, uh, War of the Bounty Hunters. And how this takes the War of the Bounty Hunters takes place between huh. Empire and Return of the Jedi, and it's uh, it, it, like everyone's going after Boba Fett because he has uh, Han. So that's why all the that's why all the bounty hunters are going after him because they want the prize because they want the, to get the payday, you know, with the catching Han Solo. So now basically Boba Fett versus all the bounty hunters in the universe 
because they want Han. And I guess she shows up in the comic book series with Crimson Dawn. And I guess they kind of explain Crimson Dawn's been on the low. And like, so they ported over the original The Bounty Hunter Guild War. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude, come on. That's that's legends. Okay. Yeah, that's that's legends, but they damn I'm actually surprised they ported that over. Mm-hmm. Because this does have to do with Loki. <laughs> <laughs> it all has to do with Loki because this is a, these are Marvel books. And I, I feel what they do with the TV shows right now with Loki and stuff like that, they can do with the books. They can do it just like Solo. They can do it with Solo. Give give Kira her own show. Oh, I would love that. Give a show. I'm happy they're going to be back Mara Jade. But that's so sad, though, because I, I know she's going to be in a different capacity Mm -hmm. of a character you know yeah. but i was just like she's supposed to be with luke but no luke's dead <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fuckers <laughs> it's gonna be wild times folks it's gonna be wild times let's kill han let's kill luke leia couldn't do anything really because you know poor carrie fisher yeah yeah but you know it's just like those three Damn, folks. Damn, we, we got a depressing. You know what? <laughs> let's, let's get, I, I got all sad. I was going to be like. Get off. It's your fault. It's your fault. You use your own goddamn shirt for snot, man. That's an, uh, uh, don't, uh, don't you do it. All right, Folks, I'm out of coffee. I drank this shit fast, man. All right. Wait. Not that one. There we go. Like and subscribe. That's right. All right. Every Saturday, the dynamic shit talking duo is coming to you in your ear holes or visually, because we're on every, we're everywhere. We are everywhere. I, like we're yeah. even on, we're on, we're even on Audible. Yeah, we're on Audible. So if you can't watch it on the YouTube channel, you can watch it. You can listen to us on Audible, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google, po you know, podcasts. We're on everything. We're on everything. Anything and everything, iHeartRadio, we can go on for days. Every podcast catcher that's out there, we're on it. Player FM. Mm -hmm. We're on hub. everything. I'm so sad we didn't get that Pornhub deal. I that would be the shit. I worked so hard on that deal. Yes, you did. And they said no. I was like, at least a hat. <laughs> <laughs> a condom? A sticker? Yeah, a condom sticker? A bumper sticker? Something? You know, in the butt, you know. In your ass, boy. Shit. <laughs> this is exit only. All right, y'all. I am KB the Sexy Ninja. This is Big Daddy. We just came at you. And when in doubt, <gasps> fuck your couch. And your damn cancel culture. Mm. Mm. Canceled. That's right. Canceled. <laughs>